Christmas is a week away. How are you feeling about it? Are you excited? You know, having something to look forward to can change everything. It could be something fun you're going to do on the weekend. It might be seeing family and friends after a long time apart, way, way too long apart. What about the wait to open those presents under the tree? Looking forward to something can help us get through a boring, difficult week. Sometimes looking forward to something can even seem to keep us afloat when we're floundering in a sea of worry, depression, anxiety. I guess what we're really talking about here is hope. People of Israel had been struggling with hope for centuries. They were looking forward to God keeping his promise to send a chosen one, the Messiah. The prophets passed along clues about who this chosen one would be. These clues are like precious gems stored within the Old Testament. While these Israelites were looking forward, they were fighting battles, both spiritual and literal. And they had the scars to prove it. Tough, tough things like their homes were destroyed and rebuilt. Their relationship with God was severed and then repaired. And in all these tough, difficult things, hope became extremely important for them. Now, with those things in mind, meet the baby in the manger. They didn't really understand it when he was born, but Israel had been looking forward to him. He was that chosen one. He was everything those prophets said he would be. Hundreds of prophecies in the Old Testament, all fulfilled in Jesus Christ of Nazareth, born in Bethlehem. God walking among us. And he too would battle here on earth, having his own scars to prove it. His life was lost and found, so that you and I might be lost and found. He is everything you could ever want or need him to be. And somehow, so much more. There's a concept we can see in the Bible. It's sometimes called the now and the not yet. God makes some truly life-changing promises in the now, things that impact our, our lives today. We read them on our Advent wreath in church. Things like peace, love, hope, and joy. Those things matter in the present. But that third one, that hope, that's really more of a not yet, isn't it? It's pointing us toward a brighter future. We are looking forward to the final gift that Christmas gives to us, which is a place in heaven. We're looking forward to a moment when we finally get to see Jesus, that chosen one, face to face. Now, more than our hopes that the Reds will have a good team this year, more than our hopes for a white Christmas, our hope of Christmas is as sturdy and rugged as the cross on which Jesus died. It's that Christmas hope in Jesus that allows us to find joy even as the tears of grief or disappointment stream down our face. We want you to know that Christmas hope too. How do we feel about Christmas here at Beautiful Savior? We're looking forward to it. <laughs>